Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Today's card is one that we did in my WOW class for April. I found this some time ago on the intranet and I made it and I really don't know anymore who I got it from, but I can tell you it's not mine. It's a, it's a definite case, but it is a little hidden message card. So when you pull this little tab, the message will pop up and then you can also have a card inside to go ahead and put your sentiment in. So um, the cards or the stamp set that we use today are Remarkable You, which is a set of two. We used this stamp here and no stem. So just the the flower, maybe, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm not real good at flowers. So, and Sweet Sayings is the other stamp set I used. And this is actually on the retiring list. So we use the Thanks for Being You. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to create the panel. So this is what it needs to look like. Um, it needs to be folded so that when you pull the tab, this little window will pop up and it's a little tricky to do on the designer paper because it's very hard to see the numbers. So I'm going to show you on a scrap piece of paper with my Stampin' Trimmer. So I'm trying to do this at an angle so I can watch what I'm doing and also tell you. So we've got a four by five and a quarter piece of white cardstock. Like I said, this would be on your designer piece of paper, but I'm doing it on white just so that you can see. What we need is an inch border on all four sides. So I'm going to slide this into my trimmer and I'm going to use the one inch on the left, or I'm sorry, on the right side of the trimmer. There's a one inch on the right, there's a one inch on the left. So I'm going to slide that over so that my edge is right on the one inch and I'm going to take my cutting blade. It has an arrow on the end of it and I actually marked my numbers with little post-it note arrows that made it easy to see. So the little point of that cutting blade needs to start at one inch. Do not start up here and pull down or it will cut through your cardstock. We only need to make a little slice from one to four and a quarter. So that point will run down here and stop once I hit four and a quarter. And that does just a little slice right in the middle of the cart. So I'm going to turn it around and do the opposite side the same. One inch and I'm going to go from one, whoops, it slipped a little, to four and one quarter. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it so that the long side is at the top of my paper trimmer. Again, I'm going to have this edge at one inch. I'm hoping you can see that one inch and now I just need to connect those two lines that I just cut which will be from one inch to three inches and that actually will free it. You might have to do a little teeny bit of snipping just to kind of make sure that it's that it's freed up and that's okay. Okay so now I've got my free little window. Now what I need to do is score the flap. So I take this edge right here, my far left edge, and I'm going to line that up right at three and three quarters. I'm going to take my score, the same as I did my cutting, and I'm going to go from one inch to three inches. Be very careful when you're using this with your designer series paper. You don't want to push too hard because it can pierce through the paper. It's so very thin. So you just want enough of a little bit of an indent so that you can fold that. I'm going to keep sliding this edge over to two and three eighths. And again, I'm going to score from one to three. Keep sliding it over until I have that far left edge at one. And I'm going to score that from one to three. So now, put this guy out of the way here. Now I've got what I need. You can see that the flap is cut and I've got my score lines. So this one is going to be folded up. This one will fold down and then the top one will fold up. And that is your mechanism 
to create the pull. Okay, so now I'm going to take my designer piece of paper and I'm going to flip it over to the back side. This is my front, flip it to the back, and I'm gonna take a little bit of our tear and tape and I wanna put a strip right here in that bottom flap. You wanna make sure that you do not get any adhesive outside of this edge because it will catch and then when you pull it won't it won't go. So then what I did was I took our labels framelits and I created my pull tab. So this one, um, I don't know the exact dimensions but I'll make sure I give them to you. You run it through the big shot, just this edge right here. Do not run the whole piece through, just run it through so it would just go through until this cuts and then back out again and it will give you a pull tab. So I'm going to take, peel that little bit of tear and tape off, perhaps, come on baby, okay. And then I'm going to line up my pull tab so that it's fairly even on the side and to make sure that a little bit of that is showing at the top. So that's how you create the window. I took some, this is our ultra thick whisper white cardstock, which I really, really love for a nice sturdy card base. It's a great cardstock. We now have in our upcoming catalog, we will have the very vanilla thick cardstock, which is nice. So now I'm gonna attach this designer paper to my front. I'm gonna use my snail adhesive and be very careful not to get any up here where my pull tab is. I don't want anything to affect that pulling mechanism, but you still need to have some of the adhesive at the top corner there to hold it to your card. I'm going to attach this to my card front or my card base I guess I want to say. Now like always we say a little prayer and see if it works. There we go, awesome. So while I have that pulled up, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right through that window. I'm gonna use my Knight of Navy ink. Make sure that's good and inked. And then I'm just gonna stamp, thanks for being you, right through that window. My Knight of Navy is pretty inky, so I'm gonna let that dry just a smidge. <clears throat> and what I've done ahead of time is I die cut the largest circle from our stitched shapes and I have a piece of sew saffron. What I'm going to do is just use our bitty banner punch which I miss terribly. You can see what the orange dot means. He's retired but I had to keep it because it makes such great little flag ends. So by doing this instead of sliding it in this way which gives us a teeny tiny little banner I'm going to skip this side and I'm going to slide in just to catch the little notch and it will give me a great little edge. So I pretty much want this to be about the length of my card. I don't want it hanging over the edge or I'll have a hard time with it fitting into the envelope. This might just notch just a teeny tiny bit more off of that. So I have that somewhere. I've locked, Okay, there's my white stitched. This is going to attach onto here, and I just want adhesive right in the center. I don't want it going off of um, my saffron piece because I don't want it to stick to the card. We need to make sure that this is going to pull. <clears throat> this is what it'll look like. Okay, so none of these edges you want touching with adhesive to your designer paper or your little pull won't work. Oh my gosh, it's been, it's been pulled so much in class, my paper's getting a little worn. Now I have a um, lattice piece, and honestly, I put my stuff away, and I can't remember what this is, this is from, um, this die is from. It's amazing, though. I love it. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the center here. I'm not going to worry about um, any adhesive showing through here because I have flowers that are going to cover that up. So I'm going to just lay that on there again it's just attached in the center it's a smidge long so i'm just going to trim a little bit on the side so that it's not sticking out and uh, now that i've done that i think i want to slip it over just a little bit 
more so it's a little even <clears throat> okay now like I told you I had stamped those flowers I did three of them no stems just the flower and cut them out they are hand cut there's no die for this one so I apologize for that but like we said in class it's good for your hand-eye coordination we got to keep you guys good strong eyeballs for all the stamping that you need to do I took a so saffron marker with the brush end and just very quickly and carelessly actually I colored in my flower I didn't want it to look like I colored every little bit I wanted some white to still show and that's it, it does almost look like it's stamped like with a brush stroke but it is not it's just a little bit of our um, marker so let's close our card again and we're going to attach our circle I think I want a little more adhesive in there it just doesn't seem like it wants to quite stick come on now work with me here it's a Monday <clears throat> okay so now I want adhesive between this score line and this score line I do not want to interfere with either one of those because it affects the pull mechanism so I just want to have some adhesive in there not a ton of it but enough that it's gonna hold and not any on the edges and I'm going to put our circle down and then make sure, yep, it's still working. Actually, it might need to go. Okay, I don't want to move it. I would have gone a smidge higher because it, it's kind of starting to bend my circle just a little bit, but not a big deal. Sometimes when, you, when you're when you stamping um, and some you, know, you adhere something, sometimes you're better off just to let it go before you destroy your card trying to peel everything apart and make it exactly perfect. So stamping is not a, a perfect art. It is handmade and um, that's okay. We want things like that. So um, a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of my flower and I'm going to have one here at the top and then a little bit of snail at the bottom to do my other flower kind of watching that you're making sure the adhesive you put there in the center is getting covered up and then with a dimensional I'm going to attach the flower at the bottom of my card so that way it sticks up just a little bit and the window slides a little bit better it won't catch on the flower now out of the dragonfly bundle I went ahead the thinlets and I cut out two teeny little bumblebees and I'm going to use a little smit little tiny um, our edges here on our dimensionals one thing that's coming in the new catalog, which I can tell you, which I am very, very excited about, are mini pop dots. I am so happy. Little, little teeny these guys, which will be great for these little projects. So little bee goes up here and then another little bee down at the bottom and we are almost there. So this is a really fun card to make and the person who gets it is going to absolutely love it okay so there we go and there's our little slider with our sentiment so how fun is that card very easy to make like i said what i like to do when i'm <clears throat> creating these wow cards is before i've done it i create a template out of like scrap paper just so that i make sure before i do my final cuts on the good stuff that I've practiced a little bit and that way I know what it's going to look like. So thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Have a wonderful week and I will see you back here for Movie Monday.